The autumn budget is just days away and there's been a lot of speculation about which taxes Rachel Reeves could hike. When the Chancellor entered number 11 Downing Street, she commissioned a spending audit and said it unearthed a fiscal black hole of £22 billion. Since then, reports have surfaced suggesting the Chancellor could be looking to make up to £40 billion worth of tax rises and spending cuts. So which taxes are most likely to go up? Labour announced a limited set of tax rises in its manifesto, which would raise around £8.6 billion. Those measures included closing the carried interest loophole on private equity executives and taxing non-DOMs more heavily. We'll get more detail on exactly how those taxes will be implemented on Wednesday, but Reeves is also likely to announce a bunch of other tax hikes which were not mentioned in the manifesto. The latest reports suggest Rachel Reeves will force firms in the private sector to pay national insurance on pension contributions, a measure which could raise over £15 billion. Rumours about this change have sparked warnings from a number of businesses that it would put up the cost of employment, which would potentially slow the pace of job creation. Reeves is also likely to hike capital gains tax, although it's not clear exactly by how much. Many entrepreneurs have said raising this levy would be hugely damaging for the economy, warning that it would put them off setting up businesses in the UK. And the Treasury's own analysis, published over the summer, indicated that big increases could actually cost the Exchequer because it would limit the amount of transactions. Another big part of the budget to look out for, aside from tax hikes, is public investment. Rachel Reeves has confirmed that she'll reform the fiscal rules to enable tens of billions of extra investment over the course of the Parliament. Reports suggest that she will target a measure known as Public Sector Net Financial Liabilities, dubbed per snuffle by economists. This would include the value of financial assets held by the government, such as student loans. The change would give Reeves space to borrow an additional $50 billion a year by the end of the decade, according to forecasts made in March. But the government is still very unlikely to use all of this extra fiscal headroom in one go. Here at City AM, we would like to know which potential tax hikes would impact you the most. Let us know in the comments.